My name is Alicia Ramirez and I'm an artist. I have been an artist pretty much my whole life. I have been painting about 10-ish years. I just was so hungry to know Jesus that painting Jesus to me was like seeking his face. Painting the face of Jesus is pretty ambitious because who knows what he looks like. <laughs> but I can describe him, his character, his love, his ways. Every time I painted him, I would experience him, encounter him, or get to know him in a certain way. One time my mom came down to visit and I was getting ready for an art show. And when she was younger, before she had me, she kept having dreams about painting Jesus. So my mom is very artistic as well. She started to go to school for art. And she said that she would try to paint Jesus and it just wasn't working for her. And so then she kind of like stopped only to find out so many years later, her daughter has grown in painting the face of Jesus. It really moved her. And she was like, that must have been what God was showing me in that dream. I wanted to portray him this time as creator and author. And that's something that I feel like I probably know him the best as. We are first introduced to God as creator before anything else. You can get to know God as love and then you grow in love because you know him as love and you're able to walk in greater authority and same thing as like with friend or like father the more time that you spend with god you realize that the most creative space is in his presence and there's wisdom in that space and there's revelation and there's rest in that space and then there's healing and that's why i believe art is very healing it's because god's creative power is healing one of my favorite memories was the first face that I painted, and I don't have that anymore. I gave it to someone. But it was only half of his face, and I actually painted over a piece of art that I had done in the past that really wasn't life-giving. I was kind of making it new by painting over it, but it was pretty big. I brought that painting to a very secular art show. Lots of talented and beautiful people who were showcasing. Everyone was drawn to that face and taking photos of it, and they were like, who is it? And I was like, who do you think it is? It really ministered to a lot of people, and I began to grow in that, making him known through painting his face and different expressions. When a piece of art is inspired by the word, it has a purpose. So rather than just someone seeing a painting and they relate to it, it goes a step further to it wakes something up in them. To inspire is to breathe life and bring things to life that were dead. It's not just about painting pretty pictures or like even painting a message. It's also about the authority and the anointing that it carries. And that's what really draws people in. So then when you are committing everything that you do for him in worship, it's like being a door or a window for others to see and behold his presence, his face. You know, it was his word that created. That's the foundation of all creativity. He is the living word and he is in his word and his word is alive. And when I seek his face in that and include Holy Spirit in that and not quench him, I try to have control is when everything is just like beyond what you could imagine.